First off, I have to actually say that I'm not crap at Sonic. Well, I am crap at Sonic, but just not that crap. I mean, most of the comments that we've received about the previous video is that I'm terrible and horrifyingly bad at Sonic. However, there are quite a few people who have also said I'm still not as bad as them, which gives me a little ray of hope. But I am aware that the video caused a huge amount of rage, and I'm also aware that Sonic is sat there and even he is unimpressed with me currently. So I'm going to actually start playing things while I'm talking, and I'm also going to get Jay, who is sat directly next to me, to say hello, because he is the voice that's going to also be talking during this video. Hello! There you go. The reason that Jay is actually the voice in this is the simple fact that he is a Sonic fan. And that makes for good, interesting conversations to be had, because he knows more than I do about Sonic. Nothing else. And by knows more, I mean he even has the stuffed toys on his windowsill. I've had them for years, you can't fault me for that. When I was very little, and I loved Sonic as a hero. As a hero? You wanted to grow up to be a blue hedgehog, did you? Oh yeah, I mean... Like, at the age of six, like, people wanted to be caterpillars and butterflies, and, like, astronauts. Yeah. I wanted to run really fast. I, I don't know of anyone, anyone, that honestly wanted to be a caterpillar when they grow up. <laughs> I, I cannot honestly think of anyone that wanted to be a caterpillar when they grow up at all. Do you, talk to, do you talk to many young children? They say well, the weirdest things. No, because I'm in my mid-twenties, and I'm pretty sure if I started talking to children now, people might get the wrong idea. You know, I have, like, sisters and a family and things. Talking to children isn't that unusual. I want to choke Amy. Yeah, everyone wants to choke Amy. This is one of the uh, challenge modes, which are... Yeah, attempting to be interesting. This would be one of the challenge modes, and it apparently involves Amy. So can we like not do this one? Because <laughs> I'm going to drown, aren't I? This is this is how it's going to go. There I am saying I'm not. Well, completely... grab some of the bubbles then. I I'm not completely crap at Sonic, and now I drown because of Amy. Well, when we was playing the other day, you did get some S ranks, so that like proves that you're not bad. But I didn't get any S ranks while I was actually playing, like recording it, so... Well, not while recording, but no. We did more than the record. Yes. So, going back over the first impressions video, at the end of it, after I had, you know, been nearly choked by everyone that was watching, I stated that this was a fairly decent 20th anniversary present for the Sonic series. Do you, do you feel that's true? You know, you've, you've played all of the Sonics. Well, not, most of them. Not all of them. Uh, I did give up around about a lot of the 3D ones after Sonic Adventure 2. Plus, also, you haven't played Colours, have you? No, I've not played Colours. Smart man. Actually, uh, I don't hear that bad things. I know people who generally enjoy those games. They, yeah. say, they say they have faults, but they also still enjoy it at the same time. Yeah. Well, so... How do you? How did you find generate like the start of generations? Actually, like you know, when you loaded it up and you sat there and you were first playing through it, what did you first think? Did well, you think there was like all the other new ones, or did you think it was more like the old style ones? Well, the first thing it throws you is it throws you into a uh, remake of the very first Sonic level. Yeah, the which, Green Hill. Yeah, which I absolutely love because my favourite Sonic games have always been the original 2D ones. Yeah. So uh, that that made me very happy as a so, Sonic fan. That was like a huge nostalgia thing for you then. Yeah, and a lot of the beginning levels were a massive nostalgia for me. Because the level you're playing right now has been one of my favourites for a long time. Okay, so out of curiosity, what is your favourite zone? Like, let, let, let me oh. ask that one. It might have to be one. Mystic Cave, but that might be because just of the music. So, fair enough. On the subject of music, what did you think of the ones in there? generations. I mean, I couldn't get some of it out of my head, but I also found some of it very techno -y and new age. Well, a lot of the music um, has been remade and remixed for the different levels, but at the same time they've also put the original tracks in. Yeah. Uh, also the stuff from the bells, aren't they? The original ones? Oh, yeah. No, no, no! Yeah, the fact that you can unlock a lot of the original music and then you can change what music is being played yes. on the levels. I actually like that a lot. 
I swear to God, I'm going to punch Amy in the face. And this is all timing, and your timing is awful. My timing's not that bad. God damn it! <laughs> well, I, I can get now, now, no, no, no! Too late. I was itching my nose. Cut the guy a break. Finally, and if you fall off, my oh my god! Go away. Leave the room. <laughs> but then you'll like not have the review you wanted. You're annoying me now. There we go. See? See? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> ha! Wasn't that hard. Might be. Sort of. No, 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 no. <laughs> Come back here. Right, let's actually, like, keep going. So, okay. graphics. Like, the, the whole... I, I'm actually going to tie this into it as well. The whole 2D, 3D integration thing when you're playing as the New Age Sonic as well. I'm going to cover in this. So... What did you actually like feel about the the new graphics? Actually, I, my first opinion when I first started playing was that it was very pretty. It all blended seamlessly together. Yeah. Like to the two D levels were like the three D backgrounds and everything. It looked like it was literally the same map as the three D versions. Yeah, I, I have to uh, have to admit that I did like the two D three D. Like I played the old Sonic, but I didn't play the new ones. So I was aware of the whole 2D thing, and I did play some of the Sonic Rail things. <laughs> so I, I knew of the 3D as well. So, but to see it actually like seamlessly go from 2D to 3D, and it managed to do it in a way that didn't make it seem ugly. It was really smooth and, well, just smooth. That's the only way I can actually think of describing it. See, there's the music like you were describing. And say it to toxic caves. That would be Sonic Pinball, I think. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, so you've actually like completed it, and I haven't yet. So I... What about? Well, you've completed the the nine things. There are nine like challenges, worlds, and each world has two acts. And every time you complete three worlds with both acts, you then have to do challenges. You have to do one challenge for each. Uh, world before I unlock the key and then you collect three keys which unlocks a boss when you beat the boss you can then do the next three worlds yeah. and you can literally like rush through them that way which I did and then I went back and did like most of the challenges so I'm working my way through them at the moment okay see I'm only I've only done the first six so that kind of you know I've not really got all the way through but you've got to the end of the story as well haven't you? yeah like how long did you do you think that oh, damn it. how long do you think that took not too long I mean I think I did it in a couple of sittings but you did play it also fairly press long in those sittings hold X down I did hold X the next one hit me idiot yeah if you hold it down you blast through everything in your path What's this? Sonic tu tutoring now, and we're going to have to pay you for these lessons. Yeah, actually, um, I expect money when this is all over and done. No. How about I don't lock you outside? Okay, that also works. Yeah, there we go. So, lengthwise, a lot of it comes from replayability, doesn't it? Yeah, speedruns is what yeah. they seem to be going for here. Which doesn't... Uh, someone said to me that like they they were annoyed by this fact because it wasn't how the old Sonics were actually done. The whole like everything is speed runs rather than the length of the actual game. Yeah, I'm not too much of a fan of it being speed runs. I mean, once I've done all the challenges, I may go around and collect all the collectibles there are in the levels, but I don't think I'm going to like perfect each run. Yeah. Uh, the lot of the older Sonics was just make your way through the game without losing all your lives, which is, I suppose, fine for that era of gaming, but as things progress, and now we have online gaming and such, like, competitive time running seems to be fair, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I don't see a problem with the whole time running being, you know, the time runs and the challenges being uh, a huge part of where most of the time is going to go in the Sonic game. Like, I don't expect a Sonic game to have, you know, an epic story that lasts 10 hours and makes me cry and laugh and when it's done I feel like I've learned a lesson and I'm a better person for it. 
I kind of expect it all to be like, aha, I'm a really super fast hedgehog. I need Saturday faster. morning cartoon show. Yeah, I, I, I don't expect it to be our dick. You don't expect it to be dicks? Yes. I, I expect it to not be a case of telling me that I shouldn't accept candy from strangers. And letting strangers touch you in an interesting place. Yes, I remember that one as well. Ah, the amazing days of uh, Sonic Says. See, I always like... Because there was two Sonic cartoons growing up. We're getting slightly off topic here, <laughs> but there was two Sonic it's cartoons still Sonic. growing up, wasn't there? There was the yeah. Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog, and then there was the other one. I always liked the one that was more kind of dumb humour with the two robots. The chicken guy and the guy with uh, bulldozers. Scratch and Grounder. Yes, that's it. Scratch and Grounder. So, back to relevant topic of this game. Yeah, so currently, like, doing uh, a boss, and how did you feel that they actually, like, fit in? Because personally, I thought they were really awesome. I liked all the boss fights, and the fact that they have hard modes, even though the hard modes are just things like, you know, their abilities are faster, and you have to hit them more times, I still felt that the boss fights were... They're easy the first time, uh, hard yeah. mode make them slightly challenging, but not impossible. Yeah. Like, I... I think I... I didn't die doing this one the first time, on either mode. But... I did... lose my rings a fair few times, the same as I did on this one. It did take me a while to actually work out what to do, but the most annoying thing with this one was that it actually took me forever to work out how to get onto his arm. Because the whole... Like... He, he knocks out the layers, which to me always... Like, he can, yeah, he can wipe out all of the platforms sometimes. Yeah, which meant that I always kind of ended up falling on my ass. Let's see if I can get this one again. I did notice that there were slightly easier areas to... Slightly easier areas of the level to actually, like, do. So you just kind of would hang around in one area and just keep yeah. doing it there. If we can get this one. So, what did you think of the boss fights then? They're actually really simple. But did you feel that? Well, not so much that they're simple, but did you like the fact that they were hard modes and things? Did you feel that they fit in the Sonic game as soon as the old school bosses did, or? Yeah, again, they've just put it out as um, level select, and you, uh, rather than at the end of a level, you just select it as you do running around the overworld. Yeah. Again, I don't see too much of a problem with this. I have to admit, more than the this boss fight, the thing I actually enjoyed more than this when I was running around in the zone was actually the, the um, Metal Sonic. Metal Sonic one's fun. Yes. I thought that was that was really great. One issue, though, is um, you don't have the fun of trying to figure out how to beat them. The Omo Chow thing tells you how to avoid all his attacks straight which, away. Which seems like a really annoying version of Navi to me, just without yelling, hey, listen. Yeah, I don't think that should have been around. I think you should have had to figure it out yourself. Yeah, I, I have to agree with that one. And there he is. Fact, let's, let's actually like do this. Here you go, you can do this one. Okay. And I will sit here and talk. So, the, the replayability comes from... The, the challenges and collecting all the items because you've got the, the collectible thing as well off the left, haven't you? Yep. The whole collecting uh, all the character bios and the artwork and the music and all the like shenanigans. But um, apart from that, there's there's also the skill shop off the left, which I showed in the, the previous video. Yeah. How did you think that fit into the game? Because I thought it was awesome. A lot of... A lot of the uh, minor things I really didn't notice. There's some activatable skills you can get, such as activating shields. Yeah, see, the problem I had was I thought the idea was awesome, but at the same time, I felt that the things that you could actually buy were pretty piss poor. You get a lot of other new and more interesting, like you get access to shields and um, power-ups, which you can activate as you like with the yeah. Y button. Yeah. Aha, see, you suck just as much as I do. You're gonna die. Yeah. yeah. See, suck it. You, <laughs> you suck as much as I do. I didn't die when I was doing this guy the first time. No, it's because you're doing it on the easy mode. Oh, you're doing it on hard? Yeah, I want to go hard straight away. Oh, I see. Okay, I'll cut you, I'll cut you a little slack there then. So, 
I really don't know how odds I shouldn't be failing, but that's uh, not much of an excuse. He didn't have to say that. He didn't know. <laughs> Idiot. Um, too much of an honest gamer. Mm, stupid would be the word I use. Honest versus what? Well. Damn. He, he doesn't, he doesn't have. Oh, he does have a dash, yeah. Yeah. See? That's how you do it. There you go. So. I never really use the dash because I'm too used to the old retro one. You didn't really have to do it on the moves like it does there. Comparing to, say, every other Sonic game. Yeah. Where do you think it lathers? Um, that's really hard to say because it has the sort of nostalgia bomb of like playing the old ones. I but I don't that. think it can beat the old ones. Well, no, it's kind of, and I'm gonna probably end up pissing like at least 50% of people off by it. now. But to me, it rings kind of Final Fantasy X2. Oh. Well, it's the whole you're going back kind of thing. You know, it, it's it's meant to be sort of a postcard and you get to kind of relive the old memories. Like that whole nostalgia kick. You, yep. you kind of, you know, you load up Green Hill and the music starts and you're merrily on your way and it's just like, you, you get happy. You have that sudden, oh, this brings back such wonderful memories sort of thing. Yeah. So you can't really rate it better than the old ones because it relies on you liking the old ones. Well, it relies on you being a Sonic fan, yeah. But I'm not. You don't necessarily have to like it. I mean, it could bring back nostalgia in the good way, but bad things. For example, I'm drowning. Again. <laughs> Sorry, keep going. And you know the whole drowning music thing. Yeah. Like drowning music to me is like one of the things that's embedded in my brain. Even though I'm not a Sonic fan, I know the drowning music, you know, I know what it represents. And, and it's that kind of like, if I'm doing a level that's filled with water, it's just like, it may bring back bad memories, but it's still going to bring back nostalgia, which in turn yep. is a good thing. But, yeah, okay, so you can't place it re reliably because it relies too much on the old games, but how do you think it compares to the new games? Well, I stopped playing the 3D Sonics after Sonic Adventure 2, because I really didn't see much interest in them. Yeah. I did enjoy Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Um, I just had no desire to catch up with Sonic afterwards. Yeah. You uh, also played Sonic 4, didn't you? Yes. Because we got it on the Xbox. That was also fun. They, they still have it pretty well when it comes to the 2D ones. I didn't see you play much of it, though. Did you Did you actually play much of it when I wasn't around? Or did you, like... Uh, I played play? it a bit when you uh, wasn't looking. Just not much. Just not much. Okay. Was there any reason specifically for that? Did I don't you know, I just had no... As good as the old ones, or...? I had no drive to beat the game, which I suppose says it's probably worse than the old ones. Okay. So, do you feel that it's a good way to remember the old Sonic games? Do you, do you feel that, you know, with all of the recent games, like, they're, they're, Sega have received kind of a bad rap for them, haven't they? Yeah. Like the whole, uh, I'm trying to think of the top of my head, Sonic in the Dark Knight or whatever it was called, Black Knight. Yeah. And all of those kind of really dodgy games that Can't came out. I avoid that. <laughs> yeah. But, like, with all of those, do you, th do you feel that this is kind of a really nice, like, way to celebrate the 20th anniversary in yeah. a way that doesn't... We have, to, we have to remember, we've been talking about um, comparing it to the old retro Sonic games, but it's also celebrating the uh, newer ones, which aren't that bad. The way they've done it in this game, because I can't comment on the last couple of games, has actually been really enjoyable. I do yeah. still like the 3D, grinding the rails, and here's the controller back, grinding the rails, doing the jumps, although there's a lot of trial and error where you sort of just end up doing the huge showy jumps and then smashing straight into an obstacle you couldn't see because you're going too fast. Yeah, that was one of the other things that someone actually left me a um, mail about was the fact that they felt the camera should have been further zoomed out because they feel that it's too much about trial and error and twitch reflex, which the old Sonics weren't. Like you, you had more time to rely. Yeah. There is a bit in the first zone, 3D version of uh, Emerald Hill Zone, where you're just following a path, and the only way to like go off the path is to kill yourself. But there's enemies down that path. The first time going through that area, you don't know they're there, and you will run face first into them and lose all your rings. The only way you, to avoid them is to boost, and uh, that's only if you know they're there to actually boost. Yeah. See, I felt in this one that it relied too much on Twitch reflex. Like, the... 
I'm sure we're even really Twitch reflex. Well, there were, there were times where I would have died if I had have been even like a split second slower. Yeah, there's lots of those, but again, the game's meant to be about going really, really fast. Yeah, but it was a case of I couldn't even see what was coming. There were times where I just, you know, flew over an edge or hit a wall and stopped. Whereas if I had a, like, even if I had been given, you know, half a second more, oh my, ah. Oh. Even if I'd have been given half of a second more notice, I would have been fine. But it just kind of dropped it right on me and was just like, respond, now, sort of thing. It happened now and then. It didn't happen frequently enough to go, oh god, I can't play this game because it keeps throwing me straight into death. Yeah. A lot of the times I've died, it has been me, like, being stupid or trying to figure out a boss tactic. Yeah. Okay, so, final, like thoughts on the game then? Like, do you feel it's worth the money? Did you enjoy it? Did you? Is there anything you would think they should have done better? Perhaps a little short, if you're just looking for a game to complete. Uh, it will get you your money's worth if you're a completist and want to get, like, S rank and everything, do all the challenges, collect all the little bits and bobs. And the challenges, uh, I'm not going to get max rank in all of them, but I'm going to enjoy at least completing them once each. Yeah. See, for me, I feel that for £20, it's like a good game for Sonic fans. If you're not really a Sonic fan, you may feel you got your money's worth, as long as you're the kind of guy that goes, or, or girl that goes back and actually, you know, plays things repeatedly. Whereas if you're just a one-timer, you may not feel that you got your money's worth. But even then, it's cheaper than like a AAA title. So I feel in that regard, it's still fairly good. Wow, I managed to like completely overshoot the shot and hit a door face burn. So yeah, I feel that it's, for the money it's okay, but it's it's relying a lot on replayability. Yeah. And As a Sonic fan, I found it amazing. It's like, after being disappointed with the other ones, not really looking at them too much, I came back to this one and thought, yeah, I like this. I like the, the retro look at the 2D platforming, and I like the 3D, and I might even consider going back and playing the other ones, which people have told me have the similar uh, changing between 2D and 3D, which yeah. is actually new for the last two or one. Yeah. See, I like the whole 2D, 3D thing, so I'm, I'm not going to go back and play any others because I'm not a you know huge Sonic fan, but I'm, I'm happy that I got to see all of the characters that I know from the TV show and from other games, even though Amy and Tails are here. And I really want to just kind of choke out Amy with Tails' tail. <laughs> that, would, that would be an interesting sight, I have just to Hang admit. them both, sort of like make it look like a murder-suicide pact. Actually, there is one funny thing in this game. They, are, they do reference a lot of the characters that are in it and haven't been in any, any of the games with like wanted and missing posters. Yeah. So characters I knew from watching the cartoon and playing the, co uh, playing the comic books, reading the comic books, Make an appearance in missing posters, which you can made play me laugh. Comic books. You can totally play comic books. Anyway, that's like, I believe we should leave it there, because I don't want to show any more of the game in case I, like, ruin it for people. They'll be like, oh, I've seen it all, I didn't need to buy this. I'll say, stop rolling, you stupid blue hedgehog. So, there you go. That was Sonic, and in my opinion, it was worth the money, and in Jay's opinion, it was even more worth the money if you're a Sonic fan because it's blue and fast and you can jam it in your eye sockets. Personally, I would just wish Tails and Amy weren't here. But apart from that, I mean, I enjoyed the fact that I got to see all the old characters and everything it was good. But personally and honestly, I am waiting for Boris the Hedgehog. Yes, bring Boris the Hedgehog. Well, Sonic... Also, quick question before we go. New Sonic or old Sonic? Oh... That's putting me on the spot. Quick, quick. I actually, I actually like the new Sonic. I don't mind him talking. You're a douchebag. Yeah, I'm a douchebag. I like old no-nonsense Sonic, and in fact, new Sonic makes old Sonic ne like to hang himself. Ne next to um, next to new Sonic, he's really tiny and small and cute. Fat. And fat as well. There is the bit with the mirror where he's like patting his stomach. <laughs> it's like, oh, I used to be fat. Also, one thing before I go, which gives you a reason to hate green eyes. Yep. Sonic's the name, speeds the game. <laughs> we will see you in a few days' time. Peace. <laughs>